Now I'm going to show you how we can implement a circuit using resistors, diodes and a DC power source and then we are going to calculate the current and the voltage of the circuit and moreover we will try to draw the IV curve out of that circuit as well. So first of all I need to get a resistor so I will take resistor rated and I need our DC power source so I'm gonna take this DC power and then I need a diode I normally prefer 1N4007 this diode or 1N4002 but for now I'm gonna take 1N4007 E3 slash 54 this diode so this is it and now I need to complete the circuit. So I need to rotate this circuit, Control R, and here. And now I need to fulfill this circuit. So I can simply connect these components all together, and that would create a complete circuit out of this. All right. And let me change the value of these resistors from a resistor from 1 kilo ohm to let's say 200 ohm. And let me keep the voltage as it was 12 volt. But if you want, you can obviously change that. For measuring the voltage, I need to add a multimeter against this circuit in parallel connection like this. All right. And if I want to measure the current as well, I can simply delete this connection. And here I can simply add another multimeter. This multimeter will now behave as the part of the circuit itself. And this will help us in calculating the current because if you have already watched the first content, then you should understand Whenever we want to calculate the current, we need to place a multimeter in the series connection of that circuit. But if we want to calculate the voltage of a circuit, we need to add the multimeter in the parallel connection against that circuit. All right. So I am using this multimeter to measure current. So I'm going to double click here and change the value to A ampere. And this is fine V. And let me simply simulate this. All right, a simulation error has occurred. I need to simply resolve this issue. The multisim has successfully resolved the convergence issues. All right, I can simply close this box. And now it's time to draw the IV curve. So how can I do that? Simply go to simulate. Click Analysis and Simulation, go to DC Sweep as I am using our DC power source here. Keep them as it was. Go to Output, make sure to add I of V1 and V1 and click Run. So this is our IV curve or you can say the IV graph from this circuit.